Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm here to show you how I went from wavy black hair to a balayage and bangs. And I just wanted a really natural look so this is what the color looks like and the hair is from Uniwigs. What you get in the box is your hair of course and it's a lace front wig. You also receive a color wheel so you know exactly what colors they offer and two wig caps. They're the mesh ones with a hole on the top, as well as a card that lets you know what your hair is about, and a brush to help maintain your wig. The hair that I received from Uniwigs is a 24 inch lace front in the color 1B with 150% density and bleached knots. It's a natural wave texture, and I'm using my Playtex Great Lengths gloves because they reach past my wrist, and this is what I always use to do my dye jobs on my hair. I'm also using my one and only 20 volume developer as well as the powder lightener. Put three scoops of powder lightener in a mixing bowl and that's all you really need for the wig. You can also rest the mixing bowl on your thigh so that way you don't like tip everything over. I'm using 20 volume developer. You can use 30 or 40 volume if you'd like for more lift, but I just wanted something that was dark brown, not too stark of a hair color difference. And put some in, mix it around a little bit, a little bit at a time. Don't just dump it all in there because you want to get it to a consistency that suits you. I like mine a little bit thick, but not too runny, kind of like a milkshake. So I add until it reaches where I want it to be. And of course, starting from the back, grab a section of hair and also grab a hairbrush. You can use any kind of brush, but this is the one that I chose to use. And starting at the ends, go ahead and brush your hair all the way through. Make sure you saturate the strands. You really want to coat the strands because you want the color to penetrate and you want it to lighten evenly. You don't want any splotches. Once you get up 6-8 inches away from the cap, you want to pull your hair tight and then start brushing on either side. Coat the strands. Make sure you brush from the cap all the way down to where the other colored hair is so you don't have any gaps. And then you can brush on either side, down the middle, and then lightly coat the rest of the strands and make sure you have a nice smooth even transition. And that's how I did the back. So. At the front, I just combed out the hair so I could release any tangles or knots because I'm doing smaller sections up here and just part the hair. And what I like to do is I'll lift the hair up and just lightly coat the underside of the section so that way it can have a little bit of color but not too much. Don't go all the way through because you don't want it to be totally lightened. You want some darkness but you don't want it to be like too dark. And after I do that, I go ahead and brush the ends like I did in the back, all the way up 6 to 8 inches away from the lace. And then grab a comb, a fine toothed comb, and brush from the lace going all the way down to where the colored hair is and make sure it all blends evenly because again we don't want any gaps in between. So I'll just grab little sections from that original section and put some color in them so we can have some kind of highlights and streaks. One on each side, one in the middle, and then grab the entire large section that's remaining and just lightly brush the top. It looks like it's a lot, but it's not going through and that's what you want to do. So it's still dark, but not as dark. It's not 1B anymore. It's going to be more like a 2 or a 4. Before I finished, I went ahead and just lightly dusted the top around the perimeter of the hair and you can see in the back some of the hair is already changing color and don't forget your edges matter too so go ahead and brush the edges as well just lightly so they can have some color and 20 minutes later I went ahead and washed the hair with Madison Reed shampoo and conditioner and you can see it is colored it's beautiful that's the natural texture after it's been washed I brushed it out and straightened it with my InStyler Max 2-way rotating iron and because the lighting was really bad, I didn't really do too much with the hair. I just chose to keep it straight for now. 
and this is what it looks like so shiny and pretty and we are going to cut the lace just cut it as far back as you can this is what the cap looks like pluck wherever you want your part to be I just go by the natural way that the hair falls and then put some makeup in there. I'm using my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation in the shade C7. And I had a middle part for a little while, but a couple of days later I came back to show you guys what the color looks like in natural sunlight. I'm using my Got To Be Glued to secure the unit and just dab some on your hair right before the hairline. My hair is blown out under there in big sections and I'm about to actually do something with my hair. So I didn't want to put the Got To Be Glued too far up also blow dry it so that way it can be tacky and easier to latch the unit on and there we go just press down and make sure it's secure and this time I didn't really want a middle part anymore I wanted some bangs so I went ahead and parted the hair on the side and plucked it again so now I have two parts and grab some more makeup to put in the part so that it would look more natural. And to lay down this part of the lace front wig, I just grabbed some Elastic QP Foaming Wrap Lotion. I love to use this on all of my units, I just don't show you guys as much. But just put some on there, it has some hold to it so it makes it easier for you to control which direction your hair goes in. And then grab a flat iron or edge tamer. My flat iron actually has an edge tamer on it. It's a hybrid titanium flat iron, so it's like a two-in-one. And I just bear down with the flat iron to make sure that everything is sleek and straight. Then I grab my scissors and measure the section of hair around my lip line. It's usually my lip line or my chin line and just cut it for my bangs. And then, of course, grab some more hair and just cut it around my neckline so that way there wouldn't be too stark of a contrast between the bang and the rest of my hair. And just flat iron the hair and grab the flat iron again and used it to bump my bangs. And that's all there is to it. That's how I did my bangs and my hair color. And I absolutely love it. I forgot how much I like side bangs. And I think I'll do middle bangs in the future, but this is what the hair is looking like. Very pretty, very natural looking. I would like to say thank you so much for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, and definitely let me know what you think of my new hair color. Bye!